Hello and welcome to the first video in a new series called HeliGuy Tutorials. In this series we plan to give you a comprehensive overview of how to get the most out of your new drone. So let's take a look. So in this video specifically we're going to look at how to activate and get your drone up into the air straight out of the box. So firstly, let's have a look at the activation process for your new DJI drone. Before we start any of this tutorial, I'd recommend charging both the aircraft and the controller to ensure everything's ready to go. So let's start by connecting your mobile phone or iPad to the controller of your drone. Next, power on the controller first and then the drone, opening the DJI GO 4 app or the app relevant to your aircraft. On the screen, select the option that says Activate Aircraft and then click Next. Now follow the instructions on the screen, naming your drone and also choosing the stick mode you'd like to use. If you've never used a DJI drone before or are just unsure which setting to go for, we would recommend going for mode 2. So after you've ran through that on the screen, you need to confirm your DJI account and activate the drone. After you've completed this step and logged in successfully, your drone will be activated. Remember, if you have any issues during the activation process, restart the app, the aircraft and the controller and retry again. So now let's take a look at the next step in getting your drone into the air. Yes, it's pre-flight checks. Firstly, we recommend checking the aircraft over before heading to your flying location. Ensure the batteries are checked for cracks, bulging and they fit properly into the drone itself. If you do find any issues with the battery, we would recommend quarantining that battery and then getting in touch with your retailer or manufacturer. We also recommend checking the whole drone over during this process for the same issues. So now, after we've checked over the body of the drone, let's fit the props to the aircraft. Most DJI props now push and twist into place. Check the motor fully to make sure they are fitted correctly. Move the motor in your hands and ensure the motor feels right as well. Check all the props and motors at this point. It's at this point as well we'd also recommend checking all the sensors on the drone, making sure they're clean and have no obstructions. We would now recommend sitting the drone flat on the table and removing all the props from the drone. Personally, I would never have the props on when the drone is active indoors in case of an accidental start. Now turn on the controller and make sure it's fully operational before turning on the aircraft. Now that your drone is connected, check through all the settings and ensure they are correct. Again, if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on DJI GO 4, click the link in the description below or the link on your screen right now. So now that we've checked all the basics on the ground, let's head to the flying field. So now that you're all unpacked, we recommend looking for a safe takeoff and landing zone. This will be an area that's clear and has no obstructions. Here, you can set down the drone and power on the controller, followed by the aircraft. It is at this point we recommend completing the compass calibration. Here, you can enter the settings and select calibrate and then follow the instructions on screen. Now you are just about ready for flight. Check over the aircraft one more, checking blades, battery and the body of the aircraft to ensure there's been no damage en route. To start your flying procedure, pull your two sticks inwards to each other to start the motors. Then using the left stick, pull down to power off the aircraft. This is just to double check that everything's working correctly and the motors will stop if needed. Once that's been checked, pull the two sticks together again and push up on the left. Bear in mind that these instructions are all for mode 2 controllers. Your drone will start lifting into the air. We'd recommend firstly hovering it just above head height to test some controls. Once you've started to hover the aircraft just above head height, move back, forward, left and right to ensure all the functions are working correctly. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos like this. And also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for the latest drone news. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.